guys, this is Coach Alexis, and today I'm going to teach you how to do a backwards roll. So first things first, make sure that you have enough space wherever you're at, um, outside, in your living room, in your bedroom, just make sure that you have enough space to do your backwards roll. Also make sure that you're not doing it on a really hard surface. So as you can see, I have a yoga mat right here. Um, this is a hardwood floor. It does kind of um, hurt a little bit, but um, the softer the surface that you have, the more comfortable it feels on your body. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you've never done a backwards roll before, I'm going to show you just a couple of drills that you can do before we get started. So the first drill is you're just going to lay on your mat and you're going to take your hands just like this so your palm is flat. Okay. So palm is flat, like I'm holding a tray up above my head. I'm gonna just lay back and place my hands on the floor, right beside my ears. While I do that, I'm just gonna bring my legs up here. So let's try that again. I'm sitting up, holding a tray up above my head. I'm slowly gonna roll back. As I do this, I'm gonna tuck my chin into my chest. So my chin is into my chest, I'm rolling back, my legs are coming up, okay? So that is part one of the roll. Awesome job. One more time, train up above our heads, nice and flat, tuck the chin in, roll back, vertebrae by vertebrae, and push. Good job. Okay, so now we're gonna take this a step further and we're gonna start in a squat position. So I'm squatting just like that. So I'm kind of like on the tips of my toes and I'm still going to be in a little bit of a ball. So from here, we want to make sure our back is rounded. We don't want to arch like this because when you arch like that, it's going to hurt and it's just not going to work. Okay. So every time we're doing a backwards roll, think about squat, nice little ball. Now we're going to do the same thing we did before. So we're rolling back, chin is tucking in, hands are coming to the floor, pushing our legs up. Okay, so not quite our backwards roll yet, but we're getting there. So let's try that again. Squat position, tuck the head in, hands up by your ears, and we're going to roll back. Start to push a little bit. Good. Okay. So now we're going to take this another step further and we're actually going to try to land our backwards roll. So how do we land on our feet? You are pushing out of your hands. So as I roll back, I push off of my hands to land on my feet. Okay. So we're going to start in our nice tucked position, hands by your ears, chin is in, roll back and push on your feet. Okay, let's try that again. Nice tucked position. It's very important to keep your chin in and round your back. Okay, if you're arching your back, like I said before, it's not going to work. So make sure chin is tucked in, hands are up by your ears, nice and flat. I'm on the tip of my toes. I roll back, push, and land. Awesome. So the better you get at this, you can take it up more levels. So you can start standing and do your backwards roll. You can do a backwards roll with straight legs in a pike. And then if you really want to start working on getting um, advanced, you can do your backwards roll into a push-up shape. So what that will do is that will get you ready to level up into your back extension roll. Okay. But for now, I want you as a beginner just to focus on nice and flat hands, keeping the chin tucked in, and trying to really push off of those hands and land on your feet. All right, so give this a try. Um, I'd love to see your efforts. I'd love to see your completed backward rolls. Um, please reply in the comments or send us your videos to our Instagram page, Perfect Balance Training Center. 
Uh, make sure you like this video and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.